Okay, uh, hello everybody. Uh, my name is uh, Siddiq uh, Shirgaonkar and I'll be teaching you science uh, for a few days uh, online and um, welcome to our online classes. So I hope I hope you all have seen uh, our lecture, our video on um, on the introduction. I hope you know how to use online lectures for your study purpose. Um, and um, I, I think I, I'll try my best to make uh, th this online teaching a bit easier for you. Uh, okay, uh, welcome everybody, and uh, I hope you have seen online lectures ki introduction ki videos. Dekhi hai. So let's move on to the next slide. I won't take a lot of time in explaining the part of introduction. Okay, hello. Uh, so Siddiq Shrikaukar, my name. And uh, this is probably my email ID as well, but I don't think it's going to be of any use to you. Uh, okay, let's move on to our next slide. Yeah, uh, this was the introduction video and I'm going to say it again. I hope you have seen our introduction video. Uh, if you haven't seen the introduction video, please go back and see the introduction video. If you have introduction the video, आप प्लीज जाके इंट्रोडक्शन की वीडियो सबसे पहले देखिए क्योंकि उसमें हमने काफी चीजें एक्सप्लेन की है आ, किस तरह आपको ऑनलाइन क्लास देखनी है किस तरह से आपको ऑनलाइन क्लास अपने बेनिफिट के लिए यूज करना है और उसके सारे स्टेप स्टेप वाइज पॉइंट्स आपको स्टडी कैसा करना है सो uh, so, मैं आपका ज्यादा टाइम और इंट्रोडक्शन में वेस्ट नहीं करूंगा एंड वी विल मूव ऑन टू आवर नेक्स्ट स्लाइड ओके Okay, welcome class six to our science class. So this is our first lecture uh, for, okay. Uh, uh, and uh, I'm gonna say welcome everybody again. So, okay. So the first chapter, I hope you all have, uh, I hope you all have your uh, Xerox worksheets uh, with you. And uh, it's the Xerox that we have actually provided since you don't have your textbooks. And uh, this, this is your science textbook. This is the book that we will be using uh, this year for your curriculum. हम ये textbook use करेंगे आपके science के लिए. मुझे पता है आप लोगों के पास science की textbook नहीं है. इसलिए school ने आपको Xerox की worksheet provide की है, जिसमें हमने आपको chapters Xerox करके दिया है. ठीक है? So आपको आपको आपके जो worksheets है, उसमें उसके साथ आपको स्टडी करना है सो so बेसिकली जो मैं वीडियो आपको दिख, देख रहे हैं आप वो एग्जैक्टली exactly आपके टेक्स्ट बुक में दी हुई है वो एग्जैक्टली exactly आपके टेक्स्ट बुक की ही कॉपी है ओके सो ऑल यू हैव टू डू इज कीप वाचिंग द लेक्चर्स एंड आल्सो लुक इन योर टेक्स्ट बुक ओके यू आल्सो हैव टू लुक इन योर टेक्स्ट बुक सो लेट्स जस्ट ओपन द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ओके एंड द नेम ऑफ द फर्स्ट चैप्टर इज food and its source okay so uh, okay let me just go back uh, so chapter 1 okay c h a p t e r chapter 1 is food and its source so this is your first chapter and i hope you are ready let's begin uh, i'm going to teach you by uh, word by word everything i'm going to read the sentence मैं सेंटेंस रीड करूंगा और आ, आपको टेक्स्टबुक में देखकर या फिर आपको वीडियो में देखकर आपको उसी के साथ कोरिलेट करना है ओके एंड डोंट वरी आई विल गो अ बिट स्लो सो द फर्स्ट थिंग फर्स्ट इज फूड एंड न्यूट्रिशन एवरीबॉडी नोज व्हाट व्हाट यू मीन बाय द वर्ड फूड फूड इज समथिंग दैट वी ईट ऑलमोस्ट एवरी डे राइट so uh, food and nutrition what do you mean by nutrition nutrition means uh, when you eat food and when it goes inside your stomach you know it gets digested into very very small com small substances and our body absorbs those food substances and those food substances provide nutrition to our body okay it helps our body grow um, let's start reading with the first uh, paragraph. India, being a diverse country, has many cultures across. Okay, I'm going to use my mouse pointer. Uh, India, being a diverse country, 
has many cultures across different states. We eat different types of food at different times. We prepare special dishes and sweets during festivals. For example, uh, for example, sevanya kheer is a specially made dish on the on the festival Eid. We have a lot of variety in the food we eat. People living in different regions of the country eat different types of food. Most of the states in India have some staple food items that are very popular there. Okay, so let me explain you what this first paragraph it is all about. I will explain you what this first paragraph is about. So basically, you know that India is a very big country, right? And India has lot of states. Okay, India has got lots of states. Okay, I'm gonna write it down. States. States like we live in the state of Maharashtra. Maharashtra. Okay. So uh, we live in the state of Maharashtra. So Maharashtra has a special type of food that we eat. Okay. Uh, so every state in India has a different kind of food. Okay. So maybe if you go into the south of India, people eat more of rice. If you go in the north of India, people like to eat more of wheat. You know, wheat, we, uh, we make roti out of wheat. Okay. Um, I'll also explain to you in Hindi. Uh, India mein bahut sare states hai aur hum Maharashtra mein rehte hai, right? So, Maharas, uh, it's, let's suppose ki aap north of India mein jate ho, to aapko different kind of food milega. Agar aap south of India mein jate ho, to aapko different kind of food milega. Aap east of India mein jate ho, to aapko different kind of food milega. So, har different states ke andar different kind of food hote hai. Uh, and uh, hum sabko pata hai ki Eid ke time hum kheer banate hai, sevaiya banate hai. You know, like, it is a special dish. Uh, that we actually make in uh, in in our country okay during the time of eid so uh, look look over here people living in different regions of the country eat different types of food i hope you understand this now most of the states in india have some staple food items that are very popular over there okay I hope that you are also looking in your textbooks uh, while you read and if you just don't understand anything, you can go back, you can pause the video, you can write it down in your books, okay? Um, Alright, so let's just move on to the next slide. For example, uh, let, me clear, let me clear the ink on this slide. Cool. Um, I'm, I'll be reading from here. I hope you can see my mouse pointer. For example, dal. For example, dal bati churma is a popular vegetarian dish in Rajasthan. So Rajasthan is a state in India. Uh, bati churma is a popular vegetarian dish in Rajasthan. And kandavi is a snack from Gujarat. So, Bati Churma is a very famous dish in Rajasthan and Kandavi is a very famous dish in Gujarat. Do you, do you see people actually living in Gujarat eat Bati Churma? Like it is not famous over there. But Bati Churma is very famous in Rajasthan. So, this is what it means by uh, some states have special dishes. Uh, is, इसी का मतलब होता है कि हर स्टेट में स्पेशल डिश होता है जैसे कि हम राजस्थान में है राजस्थान में फेमस क्या है बाटी चूरमा और जैसे हम गुजरात में है गुजरात में फेमस क्या है कांदावी ओके आई एम गोना बी ओवर हियर द फूड हैबिट द फूड हैबिट ऑफ पीपल आल्सो डिपेंड्स ऑन क्लाइमेट कल्चर एंड अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ फूड इन दैट लिविंग एरिया People living in the coastal areas eat lot of seafood as it is easily available in these areas. So, 
the amount the availability of food like the food which is available in a state also depends on how on uh, how and on which place on which geographical region uh, the state is placed in uh, suppose ki uh, ek state hai jo c ke bahut nazdeek mein hai like suppose uh, maybe you can take the state of goa okay everybody knows goa or maybe you can take our own state of maharashtra okay maha r a s h t r a so uh, some parts of maharashtra is near the sea so the areas that are surrounded the, uh, the areas that are actually near the sea we call them we call them coastal areas so the areas actually that are near the sea we call them coastal areas and coastal areas means uh, uh, coastal areas means uh, places that that are near to sea okay and if you are near to sea you can get a lot of seafood seafood like fish or prawns right uh, i hope you like to eat fish i mean i i really like to love, i really like to eat fish so um, yeah uh, i'm a huge fan of fish um, i i hope you understand what it means by coastal areas now okay uh, now let me just clear my slide Uh, and i will go again through this statement the food habit of people also depends on the climate culture and availability of the food in that living area i hope you understand i hope you understand what it means by uh, what this statement actually means uh, people also living in sorry people living in coastal areas eat a lot of seafood as it is easy uh, easily available in these areas okay great um now let's move on to the next slide all right so i think this slide is a bit important okay so let's move on to um page number 2 okay let's everybody open page number 2 okay page number 2 and we will start reading from uh, i know like look over here this is uh paragraph 1 paragraph two and then third paragraph okay let's just start reading by uh, start reading from paragraph number the three okay <clears throat> um so uh, what will happen if you uh, let, it is just an explanation so listen to me very carefully what will happen if you don't eat food in the entire day okay uh maybe you will get very tired you know you get very hungry and now you want to eat food and you want to drink some water so so you can gain some energy so we need food to uh we need food so that we can survive so that we can live hame khana kyu chahiye hota hai taki hame energy mile taki hum hamari growth ho right so our body needs food to get energy okay uh, thus need for the food is a important characteristics of a body so that is why our body needs a lot of food we need food to survive we need food for energy we need food for growth maybe when you were a small baby jab aap chote baby the to aap you know they sirf itne the maybe aap फूड इतने टाइम से खा रहे हो तो आप अभी इतने बड़े हो गए हो राइट सो हाउ डिड यू गेट बिग यू टुक इन फूड एंड दैट फूड प्रोवाइडेड यू विद न्यूट्रिशन एंड दैट न्यूट्रिशन एक्चुअली हेल्प योर बॉडी सर्वाइव एंड ग्रो ओके सो नाउ लेट्स जस्ट फोकस ऑन अवर टेक्स्ट बुक्स रेडी द प्रोसेस द प्रोसेस बाय विच आर बॉडी takes in food and uses it for growth and development is called nutrition okay so uh, i'm going to read it again the process by which our body takes in food and uses it for growth and development is called nutrition now food has some chemical substance okay food has some chemical substance called nutrients 
these components of food are needed by our body for maintaining good health so just for an example you uh, eat potato okay so just for example aap potato khate ho and when that potato goes inside your stomach goes inside your tummy that potato get, uh, starts to get digested and jab food digest ho jata hai when the food is getting digested that food is broken down into very small substances small chemical substances called nutrients okay and hamari body इन न्यूट्रिएंट्स को एब्जॉर्ब करती है और हमारे बॉडी को एनर्जी प्रोवाइड करती है राइट सो हेंस दीज कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ फूड आर नीडेड बाय अवर बॉडी फॉर मेंटेनिंग गुड हेल्थ ओके आई होप यू गेट इट नाउ दीज कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ फूड आर नीडेड बाय अवर बॉडी फॉर मेंटेनिंग गुड हेल्थ व्हाट विल हैपन इफ यू डोंट ईट फूड You will get sick, right? अगर आप खाना नहीं खाएंगे तो आपकी body good health maintain नहीं कर पाएंगी आप बीमार हो जाएंगे ठीक है That is why our body needs food to provide us with nutrition. Now, let's read. Uh, let's just uh, focus over here this part. Food is essential for living beings as it provides nutrients for growth of our body. it provides nutrients so that our body can grow for a growth of, of our body now point number 2 provides energy provides energy necessary to carry out various life necessary uh necessary nutrients that are used by our body cells okay so uh, okay uh this is our body okay i'm i'm sorry i'm really bad at drawing so uh this is our hands and this is our feet okay and okay. <laughs> sorry uh our body is made up of very small tiny millions and millions of cells and these cells actually need the nutrients that we get from food to perform various life activities point number 3 it helps in the repair or replacement of worn out cell so suppose uh this is a cell okay and this cell gets damaged okay like uh so somehow this cell gets damaged in order for this damaged cell to become a healthy cell it actually needs the nutrients so that it can repair itself okay agar ye jaise ki hum jaise ki ye ek cell hai aur ye ek cell damage ho gaya ek cell ko maar lag gayi ya fir ye ek cell ko chot pahunchi to ye cell apne aap ko theek kaise karega ye cell ये सेल को जो न्यूट्रिएंट्स प्रोवाइड होंगी वो उससे उस न्यूट्रिएंट्स को यूज करके अपने आप को ठीक करेगा एंड हेंस इट हेल्प्स इन द रिपेयर और रिप्लेसमेंट ऑफ वोन आउट सेल्स ओके ना पॉइंट नंबर फोर इट प्रोटेक्ट्स फूड प्रोटेक्ट्स द बॉडी फ्रॉम वेरियस डिजीजेस एंड कीप्स अस फिट नाउ आई थिंक आप घर पे बैठे हो सो so, अभी कोरोना वायरस बहुत ही ज्यादा यू नो काइंड ऑफ हाइप में चला है सो व्हाट विल हैपन अगर आप खाना नहीं खाएंगे सो मे बी यू कैन यू नो गेट सम काइंड ऑफ डिजीज यू कैन गेट अ फ्लू यू नो अच्छू यू कैन यू यू माइट गेट सिक सो इन ऑर्डर टू कीप योर सेल्फ हेल्थी यू हैव टू ईट फूड ओके लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट लाइफ सो सोर्सेज ऑफ सोर्सेज ऑफ food uh sources means from where do we uh, uh sources mean what are like uh, what are the things that we eat as food what are the things that we eat as food that is what it means by sources of food uh let's just read ahead uh do you know what dosa batter is made up of i hope all of you have eaten dosa i think i really like to eat dosa uh so do you know what is the dosa batter made up of you see this is a dosa batter okay 
it looks like it is somewhat very white and very thick so that is a dosa batter i hope when your mother cooks dosa at home you might have seen your mother make a dosa batter so um what is the dosa batter made up of it is made up of rice and urad dal so this is rice and this is urad dal and when you mix them together and when you grind them in a mixer that's how you make a dosa batter i think dosas are very good i think they are very tasty uh so the substances from which the food is made is called ingredients what ingredients can you have to repeat it again okay in uh, in gre d ends all right in gre d ends ingredients one more time ingredients all right so the substances from which food is made is called ingredients uh, this dosa batter is made up of two ingredients uh, let me clear my slide very good uh, this the this dosa batter is made up of two ingredients can you tell me what are these two ingredients okay very good it i hope you are thinking the, these ingredient ingredients are rice and urad dal and if you are thinking that th uh, those ingredients are rice and urad dal give yourself a high five because you are right that is what it means by ingredients so the substances from which the food is made is what ingredients so when you eat a dosa uh, just for in case this is a dosa okay and you have small potatoes inside a lot of potatoes inside this is my dosa sorry i'm really bad at drawing this is my dosa so this dosa is made up of ingredients that in two ingredients that are rice and urad dal therefore rice and urad dal are ingredients of dosa okay idlis um i like idlis much more than dosa i mean for me idli idli is like number 1 and maybe then then i would say dosa so yeah i really like idlis idli are made from batter of rice dal and salt now let me ask you a question what are the ingredients used to make idli i hope i hope you are thinking there are three ingredients to make at least rice dal and salt now similarly vegetable soup vegetable soup is made from vegetables water so salt oil and spices so these are the ingredients for vegetable soup where do you think we get these ingredients from where do you think we get these ingredients from where do you get rice from where do you get urad dal from Na do you know that if you don't let's just read ahead in the textbook and we will know okay see we get these ingredients from plants and animals where do we get these ingredients from uh, rice we get rice from plants we get urad dal from plants what about chicken i hope you all like chicken right like how does a chicken sounds i don't know <laughs> i really don't know how chicken sounds um and this chicken chicken is also a ingredient okay and chicken do you get chicken from plants do you get chicken from plants no you don't get chicken from plants you get chicken from animals if you like to eat a chicken burger at kfc that's from an animal so that is what it means now let's move on to the next slide ah oh, very small i hope you are able to see it but don't worry i think i will zoom in and make it a bit more bigger don't worry uh, let's open page number 3 from your text from your uh, xerox worksheets look at page number 3 okay the page number is actually given down over here on the right hand side at the bottom of the page so we will read food from plants 
Ready? Food from plants. Green plants can prepare their food. Uh, I will read. Just look. Just look into your uh, Xerox worksheet pages uh, to listen. So, green plants can prepare their own food. Uh, so they are called producers. This is very important to know. What do you mean by producers? So green plant can prepare their own food. Hence they are called producers. Do you ever think you feed food to plants? Did you? Um, did you ever feed uh, dal to rice plant you know did you ever feel uh, like uh, did you ever give roti to a rice plant or did you ever give a chicken burger to a tree no you don't give a chicken burger to a tree to make a food right aap chicken burger nahi denge tree ko taki wo food banaye because green plants have a very special superpower i could say that okay green plants have a very special superpower uh, that they can make their own food and since green plants can prepare their own food they are called as producers okay what are they called as producers what pro do sirs okay you have to read pro do sirs okay producers they are called as producers <clears throat> they store the extra food in different parts such as fruits leaves stems roots flowers and seeds in the form of starch okay so when these green plants prepare food okay, so they st store food they store like uh, like you have like your school bag you store your books in your school bag right in the same way green plants store the ex the food that they make in special places like like in fruits like in leaves in stem in roots flowers and seeds so they i'm going to repeat it again so they store the food in fruits leaves stem roots flowers and seed in the form of starch okay this is very important in the form of starch um i know you don't know maybe uh, the meaning of starch so i will explain starch uh, just think of starch as a special chemical substance that plant makes in order to store their food like in human body like uh, just in case for you and me we store food our body stores food in the form of glucose but green plants store food in the form of starch let's move on to the next paragraph animals cannot produce their own food do you think we as human beings we are animals right we have other animals as well like cats and dogs and lions and lots of animals do you think that uh, we can prepare our own food no we eat food with our mouth do you did you ever see a plant have a mouth do you ever did you ever see a plant chew food <laughs> no they don't chew food right we animals we animals cannot produce their own food therefore we depend on other things like plants to plants as a source of our food so animals cannot produce their own food they directly or indirectly depend on green plants for their food requirements and are called as consumers okay consumers i'm going to say it again consumers they are called as consumers <clears throat> fruits vegetables pulse fruits vegetables pulses rice and wheat are some of the food products that we obtain from plants and you see we eat fruits we eat vegetable we eat pulses we also eat rice wheat so since we eat the eat all these things we are called as 
consumers because we don't produce our own food below are the examples of various plant parts that are used as food what do you mean by plant parts i will go go to blackboard this is my blackboard but it's a white screen okay plant parts like uh, okay suppose this is a tree and then a tree has lots of lots of roots a tree or and then the tree has leaves you know trees made up of like lots of leaves so these are the leaves the, this is a stem these are roots these are like the basic parts of a tree now let's go back to our slide so uh, below are the example of various plant parts that are used as food so now we will read the parts of the plant that we use as food roots okay i hope you remember that the diagram of roots you know below the soil long that is the roots <laughs> so roots carrot radish beetroot and turnip are the edible roots of the plant so you have eaten a carrot look 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 over here okay carrot this i hope you all know what is a carrot this orange thing and you know with the green part this is a carrot so you know this is basically a plant okay and uh, let me go back to the white slide again so this is a carrot and these are the leaves of a carrot this is a carrot this part of the carrot is the stem this part is the leaves oh sorry 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 uh, i'm sorry uh, this part of the carrot it it's not the stem it is the root okay i'm sorry this part of the carrot is the root of carrot and we eat the roots of carrot we we don't eat the leaves we don't eat the leaves we eat the roots of carrot okay so this now let's just read roots carrot radish beetroot and turnip look over here carrot turnip and beetroot do you see these uh, you see this thing this thing these the things that i'm circling these are roots of a plant these are the roots of the plant okay we eat the roots carrot radish beetroot and turnip are the edible roots of the plant okay edible edible means things that uh, things that we can eat that is what it means by edible edible root means the things that we as human beings we as animals can eat and is healthy for our body so these are the edible roots of the plant the food is stored in the roots of these plants that we eat the food is stored in the roots of these plants that we eat so plants this plant this plant makes food and it stores food in the roots in the roots and hence we eat the root of a carrot okay now let's move on to stem stem uh potato yam and ginger are modified stems that grow underground i hope you all know what is a potato so potato is a stem so what does a potato plant do what does a ginger plant do you know ginger look at this i think you all know what is ginger like adrak okay adrak is a stem adrak ek kya hai stem and jab adrak aur potato ka jo प्लांट होता है वो अपना जो स्टार्च अपना जो फूड होता है वो अपने स्टेम में स्टोर करता है एंड वी ईट द स्टेम ऑफ दो प्लांट सो वी ईट द स्टेम ऑफ पोटेटो वी ईट द स्टेम ऑफ जिंजर वी ईट द स्टेम ऑफ यम सो पोटेटो यम एंड जिंजर आर मॉडिफाइड स्टेम्स दैट ग्रो अंडरग्राउंड 
दैट ग्रो अंडरग्राउंड मीन्स बिलो द सॉइल क्या आपने कभी देखा है कि पटेटो सॉइल के ऊपर ग्रो होता है नो सॉइल और पटेटो ऑलवेज ग्रोज अंडरग्राउंड लेट मी गिव यू एन एग्जाम्पल अगेन दिस इज द सॉइल एंड दिस इज सॉइल और द ग्राउंड ओके एंड दी एंड दिस इज अ पटेटो प्लांट एंड देन यू कैन हैव अ लॉट ऑफ पटेटोज पटेटो 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 ओके सो दीज आर द पटेटोज दैट ग्रो अंडरग्राउंड दे ग्रो बिलो द सॉइल सो दे आर कॉल्ड एज अंडर ग्राउंड we eat uh, okay now let's read we eat stems of certain plants such as sugarcane and lotus so all these are the examples of stem now, let's look towards leaves leaves spinach cabbage coriander and fenugreek fenugreek i'm going to say it again fenugreek fenugreek is also called as methi have you, you all you all have actually heard methi right you have seen your mothers cook methi in the kitchen aap sabhi ne aapke mummy ko methi banate dekha hai aapne sabhi aapne apne mummy ko palak banate dekha hai cabbage banate dekha hai so ye kya hai ye spinach jaise uh, spinach cabbage coriander coriander means uh, dhaniya okay so spinach cabbage coriander fenugreek Which is also called as methi. These are ये सब क्या होते हैं leaf. Can you see this? You see, these are the leaf. These are leaf of a plant. Let me zoom in a bit more. Oh, sorry, I I don't think I can zoom in. Can you see this? Wait. I'm gonna I'm gonna circle it. This part and this part. This part of the plant it is the root. So. this is a fenugreek it is a methi so we don't eat the roots of methi hum methi ke roots nahi khate hum methi ke kya khate hai leaves okay because the leaf is the edible part that we have to eat right leaf is the edible part that is healthy for us that is healthy for that provides enough nutrition jo leaves hote hai wo nutrition wo edible part hote hai that we can eat coriander you see this is also leaf so we eat the leafy part of a coriander that is edible now let's read leaves spinach cabbage coriander and fenugreek are the examples of some common edible leaves okay now many green leaves are eaten raw what do you mean by raw raw means uncooked जो जिसे हम पकाते नहीं है जिसे हम कुक नहीं करते उसे हम क्या कहते हैं रॉ आई थिंक सम लाइक वी ईट फ्यू लीव्स सच एज लाइक कोरियांडर यू नो कोरियांडर वी कैन ईट कोरियांडर एज रॉ ओके सो दिस इज व्हाट इट मींस इसी का मतलब है मेनी ग्रीन लीव्स आर ईट एन रॉ काफी सारे ग्रीन लीव्स को कुछ कुछ जो ग्रीन लीव्स होते हैं हमें उसे कुक नहीं करना पड़ता है and then we can eat them as raw but 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 few green leaves are supposed to be cooked okay few green leaves are supposed to be cooked now let's move on to our next page okay uh, so open page number 4 here it's the page number okay can you see my pen page number Four flowers, flowers, flowers. We eat cauliflower and broccoli, which are the flowers of the plant. Do uh, you see? This is a broccoli. This is a cauliflower. In its name, cauliflower. It is a flower. Uh, for let me go. let me show you on a blackboard so this is my whiteboard okay i think as you are very small so uh, uh 
if I say to you, what is a flower? You all will say, ah, this looks like a flower. But flower ke bahut alag types bhi hote hai. Okay, so you see this. Ye kya hai? Ye ek cauliflower hai. It is also a type of flower. Cauliflower. Cauliflower. कॉलीफ्लावर जो होता है वो भी एक टाइप ऑफ फ्लावर है बस उसका इट जस्ट लुक्स डिफरेंट कॉलीफ्लावर बस दिखता अलग है बट इट इज अ फ्लावर सो वी एक्चुअली ईट द पार्ट्स ऑफ अ फ्लावर सो इन अ कॉलीफ्लावर प्लांट यू सी द ग्रीन ग्रीन थिंग ओवर हियर द ग्रीन पार्ट वी डोंट ईट बट वी ईट दिस व्हाइट पार्ट दिस व्हाइट पार्ट ये जो व्हाइट पार्ट है वो कॉलीफ्लावर का कौन सा पार्ट है flower part okay so flowers we eat cauliflower and broccoli which are flowers of the plant okay uh, saffron or kesar is obtained from the flowers of the plant i think this is extra ye extra information hai so but you still have to read i will still read it but the important part that you have to know that some flowers kuch kuch jo flowers hote hai plants mein wo edible hote hai and hence we use those flowers as a source of nutrition okay now let's look at fruits i think we all know fruit you know apple banana mango strawberry oranges peach pineapple these are all fruits so uh, if there is a mango plant let's just first read fruits we can we eat fruits such as mango papaya and oranges so this is a mango this is an orange this is a papaya fruits are often sweet mm, very nice juicy and fleshy tomato cucumber green chilies and capsicum are some fruits we eat as vegetables okay now so as we all know like mangoes papaya and oranges are fruits so if there is a mango plant if there is a mango plant okay sorry if there is a mango plant okay this is a mango tree and <laughs> this is a mango so what does this mango tree does it stores its food in in the fruit called mango and then we eat mangoes okay the same goes for papaya and oranges so tomato cucumber green chilies we all know what is a tomato we all know cucumber and green chilies um, i think green chilies we also know uh, green chilies uh, let me try to draw it i hope it it looks like this this is a green chili so these are also fruits green chilies tomato cucumber are fruits but we use these fruits as vegetables okay be very careful yahan bahut careful rehna confuse nahi karna ki tomato is uh, is like a flower or uh, it's uh, uh, like a vegetable you know but in like a uh, tomato ka original jo concept hai wo hai uh, fruit okay tomato cucumber green chilies and capsicum these are fruits and we eat these fruits which we eat these fruits as vegetables now let's move on to seeds the seeds of many plants are eaten as foods pulses that we eat are also seeds of plants so we eat seeds like uh, you know dal when we eat dal what what is dal dal is a seed and when what we do is we cook the seeds and then we eat okay so pulses that we eat are also seeds of the plant pulses are like da, like various kinds of dals that we eat it is called as pulses green like uh, red beans um, and you see these like uh, the black beans and i think uh, yeah these are all pulses so when we eat these pulses these are like seeds and these pulses we cook them and we eat spices such as cumin seeds fennel and coriander are also seeds you see fennel 
Do you see this? Fennel. Fennel means sof. Okay. Fennel means sof. So we eat these seeds after you all have eaten a sof. Aap sab ne sof khaya hai. So what is a sof? It is a seed. It is a edible seed. Edible means which is healthy for us. Healthy that we can eat. Okay. That is what it means by edible. Maize. Maize is. Do you see this? Maize means corn. Corn is like butta. So corn is also a seed, right? So we eat maize. We eat these seeds. Okay. <clears throat> Now for cook for cooking, different types of oils are used at home. Many of these oils are obtained. Many of these oils are obtained from seeds. uh you know the oil that you use to cook at home where do you get these oils from you get these oils from seeds okay you know oil like uh, when uh, if you want to cook some vegetables first what you do is you make the oil hot where do you get this oil from you get this oil from seeds okay so now let's okay sorry All right, so I think we will stop over here. Uh, let me just finish this whole part. This is the last part that we're going to study over here. For cooking, different types of oils are used at home. Many of these oils are obtained from seeds. Okay. Example of such oils are mustard oil obtained from mustard seeds and sesame. Okay, sesame. I'm going to say it again sesame oil sesame oil obtained from sesame seeds I hope you understand done okay no more uh, no more uh, like uh, I think we're going to end the class I know you might get a bit tired so we're going to take a break over here but but you know before a break let me give you some homework okay let me give you some homework you know i know i know you don't like homework but you still have to do that so track your progress uh open to page number 6 all right page number 6 on page number 6 at the top you can see track your progress and it is very easy uh you have uh, you if you have seen the introduction video you know that you have to create a homework book so you have to write this in your homework book okay so let me just help you out state whether the following statements are true or, or false okay you just have to write t for true f for false you all know what is true or false a potato is an edible stem Do you think potato is an edible stem? Hmm. Is it false or is it true? I think. What is it? Ah, I hope I hope you all are, I hope you all are saying true. Okay, potato is an edible stem. It is true. Okay. Beetroot, radish, and turnip are all fruits. Hmm. Do you think beetroot, radish, and turnip are fruits? No, they are not fruits. Okay, so it is false. So what is beetroot, radish, and turnip? What what are these? What is beetroot, radish, and turnip? These are roots. What roots? Okay. Let's let me show you. You see. Carrot. If you turn to page number, if you turn to page number three, you can see carrot, radish, beetroot, and turnip are roots. Fruits. Fruits are. What are fruits? Mango, papaya, and oranges are fruits. Okay. Now. Uh, <clears throat> this this part of uh i just try to do the first second okay uh you all all what you need to do is 
थ्री फोर फाइव एंड सिक्स यू हैव टू राइट दिस डाउन इन योर होमवर्क बुक ओके थिंक अबाउट इट थिंक ट्राई टू रीड दैट ट्राई टू रीड दिस चैप्टर अगेन ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड ओके एंड इफ यू डोंट नो डोंट वरी आई एम गोना हेल्प यू आउट ओके एंड यू ऑल्सो ओके एंड सॉरी लेट्स लुक ओवर आंसर द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन Give and only you have to write only one answer. I think you have to be very, like it's a short answer. Okay, give some examples of consumers. You know what is a consumer? You know what is a producer? Producers and consumers. Producers are what? Producers make their own food. Consumers don't make their own food. So give only one example of. a consumer think who is a consumer who are consumers think about it and you have to write down okay which type of which type of food source do cheese and butter belong to hmm it's a bit challenging what do you think which type of food source do cheese milk and butter belong to do you know okay ah uh, i think this is no 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 you know what just do this part these two questions no I, i'm sorry uh, wait for homework uh let me clear the ink please all ink do this part for homework and hmm do question number 2a and do question number 3 okay this question is for the next class okay this question i will discuss in the next class because this part is actually a uh, like it is not in the pages that we have studied it is in the pages that will be coming in the next classes okay ये जो क्वेश्चन है क्वेश्चन नंबर बी जो है वो आपको नहीं करना है ओके यू डोंट हैव टू डू डू क्वेश्चन नंबर बी वी विल डू क्वेश्चन नंबर बी इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास ओके सो लेट मी जस्ट टेक डू वन टू थ्री एंड ओके वन टू थ्री फोर एंड फाइव ओके फाइव क्वेश्चन एज अ होमवर्क and about these questions ye jo question hai ye ye aapko nahi karne hai ye aapke next class ke liye okay so uh, thank you everybody and see you back in the next class uh, take care